In this video, we're going to look at installing one of the larger databases like the Big Database or the Mega Database, which are both available from Chessbase. So in this instance, I'm going to use the Mega Database 2010. Question is, why would you want to install these huge databases onto your computer? Well, the important thing to remember is, although you can search them and play through the games, with the information still on the disk, it's much quicker and easier to have the database installed onto your computer hard drive. It'll make sorting through that huge amount of information so much faster and more efficient. So first of all, take the mega database disk and put it in the DVD drive of your computer. Then fire up Chessbase 11. In the folder window, you'll see an icon for computer. If you click the plus sign to the left you'll see an icon for your DVD drive which should by now have the symbol for the Mega Database 2010. That means that Chessbase can now see the Mega Database and indeed if you click on that you'll notice there it is the Mega Database 2010 still on the disk. To install it though go to the application menu, go down to install and click on database from DVD. If you get this, this message simply click, click cancel. So now it's asking you to tell it where the DVD database is located. This may take a minute or so. Click the find CD path button and then browse to the folder which is your DVD-ROM drive. Click OK. Now you can see that Chessbase is going through the motions of finding that database and preparing it for install onto your computer hard drive. Now this process will take a few minutes from start to finish and that's largely due to the huge amount of information that's available in the Mega Database. You can see from the database window there's nearly four and a half million chess games stored in the Mega Database 2010. That amount of information even on today's fastest computers still takes an appreciable amount of time to install from the disk onto your hard drive. You can see from the symbol of my mouse, the circle going round and round, that it's still working on setting up the installation. When it's ready, the mouse cursor should change back and you can see that the database now has a path listed. There's the drive letter and there's the folder, Mega Database 2010. Simply click OK when you're ready to go. Again, this may take a few seconds to initialize, but that's it. That's all you need to do. Now the Mega Database will begin installing from the disk onto the hard drive of your PC. A very simple process to install the Mega Database 2010.